The Governing Council decided the following. First, we will continue to conduct net asset purchases under the Pandemic Emergency Purchase Program with a total envelope of 1,800 billion euros until at least the end of March 22, and in any case, until the Governing Council judges that the coronavirus crisis phase is over. Good morning, Joe. Yeah, the European Central Bank uh, doing what uh, economists thought they were going to do. They uh, added to their pandemic emergency purchase program by 500 billion euros. By my count, that takes it up to 1.85 trillion total. It is an absolutely historic week, both in terms of the speed of Fed purchases and, of course, the magnitude. Here's a chart that shows what's happened since the first of since the March last three weeks have seen this huge ramp up in a ways that you've never seen before. Let's look at what's changed here uh, since the Fed last met. We got the $1.9 trillion in relief enacted by Congress, signed by the president. The Senate Democrats have just released the text of their $3.5 trillion budget resolution. Can you characterize everything that the Fed has done this past week as essentially flooding the system with money? Yes, exactly. And there's no end to your ability to do that? There is no end to our ability to do that simply flooded the system with money. Yes, we did. That's another way to think about it. We did. Where does it come from? Do you just print it? We print it digitally. So we, you know, we, as a central bank, we have the ability to create money uh, digitally. And we do that by buying treasury bills or, or bonds or other government guaranteed securities. And that, that actually increases the money supply. Uh, we do believe that inflation numbers in 21 which we will see rising. I can't find any period in history where monetary and fiscal policy were this out of step with the economic circumstances, not one. In six weeks last spring, um, we did more QE, more, more purchase of treasuries than we did the entire time, the nine year period from 2009 to 2018. And if we ever get an inflationary psychology, like for instance, we did when I was uh, in my 20s, back in the 70s, if we ever get that again, uh, and if you ever got retail actually nervous about inflation, then uh, the one thing that leads inflation, which is commodity prices, or one of the, it's the, it's the easiest tautology there is, those things can literally screen, double or triple with no problem whatsoever. And valuations for both uh, interest rates and stocks are at, if you combine the two, they're, they're so overvalued, they're at 100 year highs. I don't know, I don't know what you do. I am so afraid of a democracy getting the idea that you can just print money to solve all problems and eventually i know that will fail at the end if you print too much you end up in something like venezuela